Here we see the Venus de Milo sculpture. This is an ancient Greek sculpture that was created during the Hellenistic period, uh, sometime between 150 and 125 BCE. It is one of the most famous works of ancient Greek sculpture, having been prominently displayed at the Louvre Museum since shortly after the statue was rediscovered on the island of Milos in Greece in 1820. Venus de Milo is believed to depict Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love, whose Roman counterpart is Venus, the sculpture is sometimes called the Aphrodite de Milos. The work was originally attributed to 4th century Athenian sculptor and sculptor Praxiteles, but based on inscription on its plinth, it is now agreed that the statue was created later instead of the work of Alexandrios of Antioch. It's made of marble. The statue is larger than life size, standing uh, six feet eight inches high. The statue is missing both arms, which part of one arm, as well as the original plinth being lost after the statue's rediscovery. It's generally asserted that Venus de Milo was discovered, and this is the site of discovery right here, was discovered on uh, the 8th of April, 1820, by a Greek farmer. And it was inside a buried niche within the ancient city ruins of Milos. Um, elsewhere, the discoverers are identified as the Greek uh, Yargos Botinus and his son Antonio. Um, when they found it, uh, the ruins of an ancient theater in the vicinity of Castros, the capital of the island, uh, adding that uh, he and his son came accidentally across a small cave, carefully covered with a heavy slab and concealed, which contained fine marble statues of two pieces put two together. Here we see another viewpoint of the statue in its contradictory pose. Um, this uh, is pretty characteristic of uh, Greek sculpture from this time period, a half-clothed uh, woman figure. Um, and it's considered to be one of the most significant artistic findings. Um, and it's kind of become sort of a cultural icon. The statue has greatly influenced masters of modern art. Two prime examples are Salvador Dali's 1936 painting, Venus de Milo with drawers, and the hallucination uh, to from 1969 and its repeated images of the statue. The statue was uh, formerly part of the seal of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons as well. Um, Venus de Milo is one of the world's most recognizable artworks and has been referenced countless times in popular culture and uh, it's just a great example of the Hellenistic style of art that denotes pathos, that denotes a great emotion in uh, sculpture, and it's one of the few surviving um, actual sculptures that we have that's not a Roman copy, because most of the um, uh, sculptures that we see from ancient Greece are actually copies that the Romans made many years later, whereas this one is uh, the actual sculpture.